So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. First carry for Nick Chubb. Chubb will have the first down and much more. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Make that now two runs in a row that have netted them great results. And it doesn't matter what kind of blocking scheme they're using, gap scheme, power scheme, zone running. They are finding people in those gaps and moving them and creating nice space for their runners. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Chubb will get the call running left, and he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Play action, it's McNair. And that's complete to Adams. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll run with Chubb, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, a five-yard touchdown run, and the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and through to make it 7 0 Browns. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt a return. down throw coming for Vic that's complete to his running back Jefferson defense gets up a touchdown on the opening drive offense you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now and that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start on second and inches Vic he's got a man it's his fullback and brought down but not before reaching the 45 yard line Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Vic readies to throw. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. 
Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And Vic's throw there incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. The Browns drive about to get started. They scored a touchdown the last time they had the football, but things are going to be a little bit more difficult this time. Oh, certainly, because where they're starting, the goal isn't even thinking about a touchdown at this point. They're thinking about field position. A couple of first downs in order to give some room for their punter and maybe flip the field position for their defense. Second and eight coming up. And to give this time to the tailback. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. They'll go with a keeper. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. But when it's fourth and inches, shouldn't you pick up the first down? I mean, shouldn't you go for it? I mean, if you can't get inches, right, why are you playing? And on inches, that's your favorite play, right? Don't mess with handing it off. Just go ahead and get the surge and go right up the gut. Exactly. Create that. Just a little bit of space should get it done. You're almost able to take the snap, just fall down and pick it up. They got it there. Second down, here's Chubb again. Chubb will have the first down and much more. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 81 yards. And the Browns add six to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Here's Percy Harvin now on the return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. Vic's throw complete here to Waller. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A 
reminder coming up in a couple of minutes time we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman the coach in our EA Sports studios and have a look back at the next gen stats from this first half of action and he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39 Vic operating on first down. On the check down, he finds Kamara. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. But so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Oh, looking for Warner, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Browns will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Because those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. McNair looking for Cooper that's complete now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one the coverage unit out there thinking pass on third and three they'll run for it here's Chubb and he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. He decided to turn this again on third down, didn't it? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A very one-sided first half, 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. To throw again on second down. Vic escaping the pressure right. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. the sack they'll come up now third and long yeah I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space instead they go empty backfield as they'll look to throw looking deep downfield and this is incomplete 